dad lived here up until the fires. Teresa Ganong stands where her dad's house used to in Otis, seven months after the Echo Mountain fire took over 280 homes. At first, when we came up here, it was a lot of despair. Now there's hope. The cleanup is slow but steady. Fire season came to an end. The rebuilding hasn't stopped. But now we've got gray ones and blue ones and red ones and yellow ones. And so it's going to be a very beautiful neighborhood once it's all done. Each charred lot more than just a number with countless memories. These neighbors are determined to find the good in a fight long outlasting the flames. It's been really great doing the cleanup and helping all these people get home. But now there's more that needs to be done. This is Melinda Small, an Otis resident of 20 years. She and her husband, Ty, have been out here every day since October 23rd clearing debris about a million pounds of it from 80 properties. 70% of residents here either are uninsured or had no insurance at all. My father had no insurance, so we didn't know how we were gonna clear his property. <laughs> Ty and Melinda, they were the reason that his lot is cleared and ready to have a home put on it, sorry. If it wasn't for them, we'd probably still be standing here looking at a pile of rubble. If you'd seen Ty and Melinda cleaning up recently, you'd realize why they're out here. It's covered in dead trees and underbrush. So he's just trying to clear that out. So, cause we can't even start building our home until that's cleared out. We're a family of seven. My father-in-law lived with us. I mean, we lost everything. Before the fire, they didn't know most of their neighbors. Today, most of these folks see it as a fresh start. Even Teresa's dad, Pat, had his house delivered on Friday. I think it's made our community stronger through people like Ty and Melinda that have pulled together and really helped keep everybody going. I don't like it, and I don't want everyone else to have to deal with it either. So it's the godly thing to do. <laughs> it's the Jesus thing to do. In Otis, John Goodwin, KGW News. Wow.